let us see how to do some basic calculations on MATLAB. So this is MATLAB's command window and, and we can use MATLAB as a calculator to perform some quick calculations. Okay, say you want to calculate this 2 plus 2 or say 6 minus 8. Okay, so and to calculate the multiplication say 4 into 9 we have to use this asterisk sign for uh, multiplication okay and for division we have to use this forward slash now we can control the display of the floating point numbers by changing the format say format sort e then this will be the format of the display will be changed we can also try format long and you can see the difference now let us return to the our default format which is format sort now to calculate the exponentiation we have to use this caret sign say 3 to the power 5 and uh, we can calculate the square root of a number by using this command SQRT okay now in case you don't want the result to be displayed here on the command window we can use the semicolon for example if you perform 4 plus 5 say x equal to 4, 4 plus 5 and uh, we can use semicolon so the scale calculation will be performed and the value will be stored in x but it will not be displayed here you can recall x by just typing x here okay and the value will be returned to calculate logarithmic we have to use the command log and suppose it is log by 10 then you have to write log 10 of say okay in case you simply write the log this will be the natural log or ln similarly we can calculate the exponential function say exp of 2 we can also calculate uh, some trigonometric functions say sine of pi by 2 uh, for pi we have to write this pi so sine pi by 2 is 1 now you should notice that this sine function is accepting the angle here in radians okay it is not in degree if you want to put angle in degree what you have to write you have to write sine d say sine 45 or oh, let me use sine 90 then this will be 1 okay so uh, keep in mind that uh, if you you are using simply sine uh, then this angle must be in radians and if you are uh, entering the angle in degree then you have to use sine d similarly for cos and tan and inverse trigonometric functions say cos 45 sorry 5 by 4 sine 5 sine square theta plus cos square theta and this will be equal to 1 now there is some mistake Sorry, this will be sine d, okay, and this is one. The for inverse trigonometric functions, we have to write say you want to calculate cos inverse pi by two, then we have to write a cos. This is arc sine pi by two, and this is 
I'm sorry, the angle, uh, yeah, this quantity must be in between minus 1 and plus 1 since uh, the range of cos function is from minus 1 to plus 1. So say a cos of minus 1. So this will be pi. Cos pi is minus 1. Now again, uh, if you want this angle to be in ra radians or uh, sorry in degrees, then we have to use co a cos d here. And now this will be in degrees. Now MATLAB knows the precedence of operators say suppose you write 2 plus 3 into 5 divided by 6 then MATLAB will perform the calculation according to the precedence of operators. In case for example this 5 by 6 this, out, this division will be performed first and then this this result will be multiplied with 3 and then this addition will be performed but suppose you want to add first means you want to add 2 and 3 first and then you want to multiply and division then you have to use the parenthesis suppose 2 plus 3 then 5 by 6 okay now you can check that uh, this result is, is different from this result okay means using uh, due to this parenthesis this 2 plus 3 will be performed first and then the later one okay so you must take care of where, whether you you need to take put this parenthesis or not suppose you want to perform this 2 to the power 5 and divided by 2 to the power 5 minus 1 okay now this result is 0 but suppose you mean to calculate this thing that 2 to the power 5 is divided by this quantity then you have to use the parenthesis here in case we need to work with complex numbers uh, we have, we can enter complex number as say z equal to 2 plus 3 i or uh, MATLAB also recognizes uh, this z sorry j so you can use i or j now if you put the multiplication multiplication sign here then then also the result will be same okay you must take care that i is not defined as in variable in workspace when you are doing uh, when you are declaring the complex number so let us calculate few quantities say 1 plus 2 i divided by 3 plus 2 i okay or to the power 5 by 4 i so this will be a cos pi by 4 plus j sin pi by 4 Now why there is a minus sign? It is uh, because uh, we have entered e to the power pi, pi by 4 into i and MATLAB recognize this as pi by 4 divided by 4 into i. That's why this is my, there is a minus sign. The proper way to write this, it should be like pi by 4 multiplied with i. Okay. Then this is the correct way to write this and the this is the correct result cos pi by 4 plus j sin pi by 4 so we stop here